Hello, Jeremiah. It's been a long time. Yeah! You said the best, Kenny. I've told you before. I'm not coming back. I'm finished with the Salvation Army. I gave them 15 years of my life. Just one last job, Jeremiah. You're the only one who can pull this one off. One of our men is trapped in the snug of the dog and dog. Jim Keen Basso, more than he could do. That's no business of my Colonel. It's not some kid, Jeremiah. It's Kozwalski. He's Kiel. Kozwalski. Remember him, Jeremiah? Middlesbrough Precinct. December, 87. You don't have to tell me about the precinct. Oh no! I dropped my trombone mouthpiece in the dog dirt and wear the last verse of the old record cross. Here, Jeremiah. Take mine. <laughs> he gave me mouthpiece. And now he needs you, Jeremiah. Jeremiah was soon being briefed in the back of the staff car as it sped towards headquarters. It was a routine recce, because whilst he had done it a thousand times before, it was in, sell the war cry, and out. We don't know what went wrong, but the next thing we knew, he'd walked right into a nest of the faithless. He was surrounded. Our people managed to get this out. We've worked everything out. There's only one route, and if anything goes wrong, we're on our own. You come in over the wall at the back, through the beer garden and into the snug. We think Kozwalski is being held here, next to the fag machine. What's wrong with the front door? No way. It would be madness to try. There's a pool table, two blokes playing darts, and a barmaid collecting glasses. You'd never get through. I'm going in the front door. I'll do it my way. I know the law. That night, the unsuspecting Faithless continued to keep Kozwalski imprisoned in the snug of the Dog and Duck. So I am here. Well, it keeps you off the streets, eh? <laughs> I say it keeps you off the streets, eh? <laughs> Do you get it? Um, ha! Huh. Yes, um, I'd better get going. Ah, stop a while! Look, oh, why don't you have a drink? Yeah! <laughs> you Lord! I'm a damn motherfucker! Go on, just have a half of them. Yeah. Instinctively, Jeremiah reached for his last weapon. It was now or never. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus H. Christ, Jeremiah! That was the most stupid goddamn thing I ever saw. It was also the bravest. The Salvation Army needs men like you, Jeremiah. What do you say? No, no thanks, Colonel. He gave me his mouthpiece with my fill in the turn. Now I reckon we just about quit. Now if you excuse me, I've got some locks to get. The number of Salvation Army soldiers lost or missing, presumed trapped in pubs, is unknown. But thanks to Jeremiah Bloodfire, it's one less now.